set for its thinking self. So there's a little fool in that is in repetition when it came along. So you must not allow foolishness to come. It's going to spoil the whole thing. It's like a poison. A wise man's heart is at his right hand. Don't forget, a wise man's eyes is in his head. Now, a wise man's heart, that's his right hand, but a fool's heart at his left. Yea, also, when he that is a fool walketh by the way, his wisdom filleth him. And he said to everyone that he is a fool, Oh, God of mine, if the spirit of the ruler rise up against thee, leave not thy place for yielding, pacify great offenses. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. Here we go. As an arrow which proceeded from the ruler. Mm -hmm. That's too late. Let's go back. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and an arrow which proceeded from the ruler. Fully is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses, and prisons walking as servants upon the earth. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaketh an edge, a servant shall bite it. You are the prince, you are not supposed to be walking. No. A man is coming down, you are going up. Whoso removeth stones shall be run their way, and he that cleaveth wood shall be endangered thereby. If the iron be blunt and you do not wet the edge, then must he put to more strength, for wisdom is worth the What that, you know, much strength, much strength, laboring, laboring, laboring. Even the people just putting 5% strength, they are getting more results with wisdom. But you are putting 500% strength, zero wisdom, no result. Surely the serpent will buy without enchantment and the Bible lies no better. The words of the wise man, wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. A fool also is full of words, empty words. A man cannot tell what shall be and what shall be after him. Who can tell him? Jesus is full of wisdom and is full of mighty deeds. Not mighty speech. Mm. The labor of the foolish wearing every one of them. Because he knoweth not how to go to the city. No, no how, no how. He don't know, don't know how. Huh? He lacks the operation. He doesn't know how to fix it. Go to the old land when thy king is a child. Wow, we need to grow. And thy princes eat in the morning. Hmm. We need to watch our appetite and watch carnality. No room for carnality. To be carnally man is death. Spiritual man is life. Hmm. Blessed are thou old land when thy king is the son of nobles. And thy princes eat in due season for strength. And not for drunkenness. We need to eat the bread of life. We need to eat the flesh of Jesus. Mm. But much slothfulness. Let me take that again. Mm. By much slothfulness, let me take that again. Take it again. By much slothfulness, the building decays. Don't be slothful. Everything God has been building in your life will be decaying. Leave a house, don't touch it for one year. Go there. Get engaged. Get engaged. Get engaged. Get engaged. Get engaged. Woe unto them that are in peace, that are easy in Zion. By much slothfulness, the building decay, and through idleness of the hands, the house drop it through. A feast is made for love, and why make it merry? But money answereth all things. Literally, money answereth few things. Get wisdom. Inside wisdom, there's money. So, money is a, wisdom is a defense, money is a defense. But when you have money, it doesn't literally mean that you have wisdom. We have seen a lot of people with money, money destroy them. We have seen people with wisdom, and wisdom, money is pursuing them. And they are able to operate. Now, here we go. Cost not the king. No, not in thy thought. That's why you need to upgrade to becoming a king. That rule it at the gate. And cost not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird, the eagle, the dove of the air shall carry the voice. Go back. I need to take it. Cost not the king, no, not in. Let me take it again. Cost not the king. That's why everybody has to upgrade to becoming a king. You know, the Bible says, A cost costless shall not come. And he has carried away our curse. So anyone that curses you now, mm -mm, not even in their thoughts. He said, Cost not the king, no, not in thy thoughts. And curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird, the eagle, the dove, the Holy Ghost, a bird of the year shall carry the voice, and that which at wings shall. Hell, the matter. Of course, you know what the king's going to do when you, when your curse is told. Don't curse Israel. You can't curse whom God has blessed. 
Don't cause the seed of Abraham. If that costs you, it's caused every cost placed on you. Because Jesus is the King of Kings, is King over you. Those causes, they turn to blessing and they go back to where it came from. It came from, they go back to the source, 7,000 fold strength to act on the, on the source in Jesus' name. You're the seed of Abraham, I'm the seed of Abraham. We, we cannot be caused either. Cursed us is cursed. Either blessed us is blessed. This cause is costless because Jesus carried our curse on the cross of Calvary. What a mighty God we serve. Why can't you turn your life over to Jesus today? And renounce the curse. There's a curse in your family. There's a curse in your marriage. There's a curse over your finances. I don't know where the curse came from. Maybe somebody stole money to raise you off. Maybe somebody contaminated your destiny. I don't know how it did. But when you surrender your life to Jesus Christ, the curse will be curseless. And nobody dare curse you, not even in their thoughts. Enjoy that blessing by surrendering to Jesus. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I believe you died for me. On the third day, you were raised up the day from the dead. And you resurrected. And you were enthroned and glorified. And you did all this for me. So that I can be yours and delivered from shame and death. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I turn my life over to you. I surrender everything. Thank you for saving me. Your peace remains in me. In Jesus' name. Listen to this testimony, yours is on the way. Yours is on the way in Jesus' name. Hello, everybody. Praise God. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God for everything He's doing in my life. I want to thank God for GRA. I want to thank God for my spiritual parents. And I want to thank God for divine favor. There was a time ago when I was looking for a job, for jobs, and I received an email in school saying that I qualified to do a tutoring job. When then I got lazy, I didn't want to apply. So I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. So when school started, and I, I wanted a job. Then my professor, she just emailed me. She texted me one day. She's like, you know what? You, I want you to tutor my physics class. So I just got the job like that without applying. And I thank God for it. Hallelujah. And then after that, I was looking for another job. And I, and I, I told daddy. Daddy told me to bring my resume. And he decreed that I will never like jobs. And that I will have so many jobs. that I will have to choose from the one that I want to do. So then like a week or two weeks after, I called, I saw a number online for, for a lab and I called and I was just calling to save the number in my phone and then the man called me back, he's like, you call this number? I said, yeah, I'm looking for a job. And he's like, okay, just send me your, just send me your resume. So when I sent my resume, he's like, send me your paperwork and I sent the paperwork and he, he told me, the HR called me a week after that I got the job. I never applied, never did anything. And within the same week, the same Tuesday, I got an interview, and they said they'll call me next week. And the same Thursday, I got two interviews for two full-time jobs that I declined because I'm a, I'm a full-time student. And on Friday, I had an interview for it, for another job, and they said they'll call me next week. So I just give all the glory to God, and I really thank God for using our spiritual parents. And I really thank God.